Hey guys, and welcome back to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel. Uh, great start to 2024 in FPGA gaming in general. The Analog Pocket received a firmware update. So we had the big update on Christmas Eve, uh, the 24th uh, of December 2023. Now on the 17th, so I'm filming this part on the 18th, but on the 17th, we received an update, 2.1. Now 2.1 uh, makes um, addresses some of the issues that came with 2.0 and, and one of the biggest things was right guys the reason that i've started this uh this video with the neo geo core is because i'm going to hold down the analog button i'm going to move the d-pad right when we started cycling through these now on the on the neo geo core the 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 triniton fi um, filter ran okay but then when we went over to grayscale it crashed the neo geo core that problem seems to have been resolved now as well as that when we go through some of the other game boy cores like i can't remember which ones it like but i remember as soon as i went to grayscale it just crashed the core but that's no longer an issue now now really you can use any filter with any core guys and like i have to say i like some of these gb's uh, this, these game boy or the game boy advanced like lcd ones i think it gives it a unique look you know when playing this especially in handheld mode it looks like it really does look like the best Game Boy game or the best handheld game you can get out there. So you can use all the filters to your heart's content. They all just work. They work really, really well. Now, in order to do the update, it's fairly simple. Grab yourself a micro SD card, put on the put on the uh, put on the update file on the root of the SD card. Slap that in your uh, slap that into your analog pocket, and it will do the update. Uh, alternatively, you can just use an updater, and the updaters do pull down the firmware for you. So there's different ways of going about it. Go with, go with whatever is easier for you now if you have the dock uh, what you want to do then is once you put your analog pocket into the dock it will prompt you to update the dock from 2.0 to 2.1 as well i have done that so i've i've updated i'm fully up to date my analog pocket unit is up to date and my dock is up to date so that's really awesome but what this also brought as well i kind of went over I th the video i did yesterday i didn't have my pocket with me so we just went over the release notes i just wanted to let you guys know so there's a good chance a lot of you guys are actually on this update well, well well before i am i'm kind of on this now i've done a couple of things to test the video uh, but really this is the first time i'm looking at it um so awesome stuff let's have a look at some of the options in here now right so if we just go in here and go to display mode that said something about like adjusting the trinitron size so let's go and put it on trinitron and as you can see it kind of cut see the credits at the bottom and a little bit at the top it's kind of cut it on my display so let's go into uh size and if we go to integer, okay, that, that reduces it a little bit. So we're not using all the space. Integer plus is, I think, what we had, which leaves a little bit cut out from the bottom and the top. Now, let's wait until we get an image, guys. Uh, oh, by the way, this is going to be an unedited, an unedited video where we go through stuff, unless there's catastrophic failure, in which case I might edit some stuff. See, with integer plus, you can see the credit. The credits at the bottom are kind of cut off. Here we go. Right, so stretch CRT whip. I don't remember that in 2.0, so this must be something new for 2.1, but I'm not seeing any changes there. I don't know, maybe it depends on what kind of display you're using. So that's something you can just toggle off and on. So, okay, that's that's interesting, right? So let's go back out and let's go back out again. All right, let's go back to normal. Uh, but here you go, you can pick all of them. Um, so before we kind of move over to the next part of this, um, let's have a look. Let's just have a quick look uh, and go through some of uh, the display um sorry the the firmware uh, release notes right so version 2.1 uh release date yesterday again you can download it here so for um here we go open fpga added stretch crt whip size option okay we tried that it didn't make much of a difference for me maybe it will for you i don't know maybe it's the display i'm using i'm not exactly sure what it is if you've got more info definitely let me know in the comments below then fix crt triniton settings not saving okay that's good so whatever settings you've saved for triniton but uh, yeah, whatever you've used they'll re it'll remember it next time so that's that's a good quality of life feature fixed crash on some cores when entering display mode menu okay that, that's good right so that that refers to what we were just talking about the neo geo it doesn't crash there when we're going when we're cycling through the displays and then fixed display mode bug where grayscale modes cause bad core communication again that was what we're talking about with the neo geo it may have also affected other cores there's a lot of cores on the other pocket and honestly guys i didn't go comprehensively uh, comprehensively through every single one uh, in the meantime but okay so have a look at this. this this is what's really interesting here right this here added target command support for files larger than four gig uh right 
just take it at that, right? So if you are using the Amiga calls, so a big shout out to Mazamars, right? The firmware comes out, Mazamars up, updates his calls within hours. I mean, this was released seven hours ago. Mazamars dropped me a message when he updated this. So a big shout out to you, Mazamars, man. Love, love my bro. You're an awesome guy. Um, so he updated it. And looking at the release notes of uh, the Amiga call, uh, iCache fixed for WD Loader to work correctly. Uh, LBA 4A is done to make larger HDD images up to two terabyte in size. Okay, so with the Amiga Core, we had an image, but it was like less than four gig, you know, 3.89 um, gig. So it would fit within the file limit that you had on your analog pocket. Well, that limit has now been removed. So what you can do with the Amiga Core, and we'll look at that in a second, we can use the bigger image, the same image that if you've got a mister you're using on that, which I think is around nine gig. So you've got a whole bunch of uh, extra games, a whole bunch of extra demos. You've just got the best version of the Amiga Vision kind of you know, bundled front end that they make. So this is awesome stuff. And here you go. The joysticks are completely disabled when using the emulated mouse or keyboard. And then we've got uh, audio mixing. Still, still some work uh, to be done here to get rid of snap or pops from the lower frequencies of 48 kilohertz. And then uh, the, the final note here: some changes to the to the caching for the MPU to speed up some processes. Awesome stuff, man. And then we've got here from Amiga Vision. I'm not gonna. Uh, go over to where the downloads are. You can check that out for yourself. So here's the Amiga Vision website. If you go to downloads, you've got a disclaimer here, which will do a search for archive.org. So they don't link anything. They only link to a search, right? So once you've got that search, initially you had a smaller version made for the, the analog pocket, a specific version made for the analog pocket. Now, what you've got now is uh, you can use the Mega AGS, not the pocket version, the big one, the nine gig one. It will go on your micro SD card. And this is what I can't specify enough. You will need an X fat micro SD card. If you've got like a fat 32 micro SD card, fat 32 limits file sizes to four gigs. So you have to, you'll have to redo your micro SD card from scratch and have an X fat micro SD card. I mean, the easiest thing to do is if you've got another micro SD card, format it to X fat, copy everything over, and then bang, you can have the larger image. And guys, the larger image, there's a lot of extra stuff in there. and it's amazing to have that because on the analog pocket we had like a like a like a, a diet version of um of the amiga core but you know what why, why, why i talk so much about the amiga core i have updated it it's it's amazing right so i you you, you can likely get it uh via your updater uh, i actually went on to uh, mazamaz's github i downloaded the core manually i added it on there I, I i then wanted to know okay so if i'm adding a new hdf file How's it going to recognize it? I went into the file structure. I had a look and what the guys have actually done uh, in the new core. And once you've updated uh, your analog pocket, updated your analog pocket to 2.1, you've added the latest core. When you grab the latest core, he's actually adjusted, uh, what, uh, what I think, the data JSON that actually looks for Mega AGS dot hdf instead of mega ags dot pocket hdf right so it's automatically looking for the larger one and i added the larger one in there sorry this takes a, a little time to boot up so be a little patient when you are running the amiga core guys now if you want to see like if you really do want to see a tutorial on how to get this up and running then guys i i can likely do that at some point it's it's very very easy i just wanted to have a look at the firmware and some of the features in there but yeah so you've got the larger version of there you've got a whole a whole bunch of other games on there uh, yeah, man. I mean, look at it. We've, 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 we've. Oops, <laughs> I never meant to start a game. Never mind. Hopefully, it doesn't crash my uh, capture card because sometimes going from um, 50 to 60 hertz because a lot of the Amiga stuff was on 60 hertz. At least on the Mister, it would crash. Um, oh, that might be a bit loud. Let me turn the sound down a little bit. Sorry if the sound was loud near the beginning. Um, right. Okay. So right, that's the Amiga core. Right. Let's. Ooh. And how, how do we get at it? Oh, it's here. Right. That's it, isn't it? So yeah, you press the select button. Press delete. How can I? Okay, here we go. It should take us back to the list. So let's press select, get rid of that. Uh, right, okay. So yeah, guys, we, we they, they, there's a whole bunch of way of checking the stuff on here. So we've got, you know, you can add your, your favorites on there. Hall of Fame, which will kind of give you the best games. But now we've got a lot more games in there. And guys, the Amiga, the, uh, the uh, Amiga's a fantastic, it was a fantastic computer with lots and lots of good games, you know. Why play the new Prince of Persia, Metroidvania, right? Uh, when you can go back to the classic on the Amiga. Uh, amazing. And the guys have done a great job binding the button. So a lot of platform games where up was jump. Well, now up isn't jump. They've, they, 
there's a separate button uh, for uh, for jump. And if you like pinball games, look, they've even got a section for pinball, man. I mean, this this really really is is a great and uh, great front end. You want point and click? You got a whole bunch of point and click stuff here as well. So um, this is a great call. If you want to see a tutorial on how to set this up from scratch, then let me know down below in the comments. Maybe I can do one uh, when I've when I've got a bit more time and I can kind of run through the whole thing. But um, let's now head over to let's go back to Open FPGA now. One thing I didn't do, I didn't use an updater, so hopefully my screen filters are up to date. Uh, maybe that's something I need to do. And if I don't, if I don't have that, then you know what? Cool. Uh, I don't have it. So let's go, Game Boy. You know what? Let's go over to um, let's go over to Budu Two's Call Wicked, and let's run that. Right. Okay. So yep, we're gonna have to. Can you guess what game I'm gonna run? I am gonna run Tetris, guys. And yeah, there's so that, that, that's nice. I'm I'm so glad that everything's just kind of working right the neo geo core isn't so much it's it's not crashing when you're flicking through the filters the game boy one was okay hopefully i've still got the green one here oh I'm wicked i have got the green one so absolutely awesome love this green filter love tetris so let's have a look at some of the options in here now again i don't think there was kind of much new there the biggest thing for me is the removal of the file size limitation because now we've got the full amiga vision experience not just the diet experience of that but a full a full full experience right so here we go uh right so we've got all our different modes here which which is pretty much what we had in the previous one what we've we got here for mode settings size okay so we've got integer and the integer plus and that that looks like okay so that looks like this is it the nice so it is cutting a little bit of it out right okay cool yeah that's really it guys i think that was the video i wanted to do i just wanted to wanted to have a look at this um wanted to have a look at this firmware update guys and and it's it's done well right so the two biggest things for me to take away let's um let's bring up that um let's bring up that display again so let's have a look at what analog have said over here so uh right okay so yep minor ui fixes uh, added stretch, um, added stretch size option, fixed CRT Triniton setting not saving, uh, fixed crash in some calls. Okay, so we, we've kind of covered most of that, haven't we? That's that's the main stuff here. Here's stuff here for developers, added global hotkey to enable analog and X and disable analog plus Y, uh, USB SD access at any time. Okay, cool, that's good to know. Maybe you don't have to enable that in uh, the developer settings now. Fixed builds list to remember, okay, what it last kind of remembered. Uh, okay, APF, and again, this this was the big thing over here. I kind of I didn't comprehend this yesterday when I was doing a video yesterday, and then I realised, wow, we can have that massive Amiga image, which which is amazing. Definitely update your Amiga core, and a whole bunch of stuff here for developers, and then this one here, fixed pairing with 8-bit doll uh, N32.4 uh, gigahertz controllers. So that's good stuff, guys. It's a welcome update. It's nice to see. I know I know a lot of us were waiting uh, for an update for screen filters. Analog said that it will be here before Christmas, and it literally just just arrived before christmas it was like it, it, it came on christmas eve but they delivered right and what's really nice to see is early in 2024 not even a month goes past and they've added some tweaks and some fixes which addresses some of the issues on there and they've removed the file limitations so i don't know if what other opportunities this would open i'd love to get an atari st core uh, on the analog um on the analog pocket and hopefully it can have something uh, it can have like an image like the amiga vision one but for the atari st but that's it for this video guys i hope you i hope you enjoyed it definitely update your analog pocket update from 2.0 uh, to 2.1 or if you're on an older firmware you know update because you've got you've got a good firmware use an updater to fetch some stuff you can do stuff manually we, we, we've got plenty of options now but that's it for this video guys wanted to have a look at some stuff it's coming along nicely 2024 is a great year for fpga gaming uh, the analog pocket is just coming along so so nicely now like it is it's such great value having a dock i mean i i got for me it's a handheld i got the dock to uh, capture stuff for videos which obviously i do a lot of analog pocket videos but it's it's great value to have if you haven't got a dock i'd recommend getting one i know it's expensive but you know if you don't have something like a mister it's it's a very very good experience playing it on a tv now especially with all the screen filters uh, but that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed it take care of yourself be good to one another this is pixel cherry ninja out